So next, we're going to do diffraction through the wide aperture. Now, the diffraction through the wide aperture, uh, in a similar way to the one optical, you'll get a similar level of diffraction on, on as it passes the edge, uh, but you'll get it on both sides. So what we're going to do is make two construction lines, one here, and I'm making sure that it's the line is perpendicular, well, parallel to the direction of travel of the wave, but perpendicular to these, the wave front. So bring that line up there, similar to this. Oh, no, so I'm going parallel to there, perpendicular to these lines. All right, and the other thing I can do is carry on this line here. So the direction the wave is travelling in. So I can carry that on. So now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, in a similar way to the one obstacle, I'm going to just estimate a small angle here. And I want it to be similar on both sides. So that one I want to go a little bit further, actually. And a nice sharp pencil will help here. So similar on both sides. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure just check there should be five or one two three five yeah so five millimeter spacing between each of the waves and I'm going to go one two three four five just mark that five one two three four five five one two three four five <coughs> there and just going to match these up using the construction lines I made to get the edges of the wave. Two, three, four, and five. I'm making sure that this is uh, lined up. So I've got this nice line on this ruler, making sure that the wave front is perpendicular to the, the um, direction of travel here. So I'm using my ruler to do that. Now in a similar way to the one obstacle, I'm just going to estimate a small amount of curving on the sides here. And I'm making sure that the spacing, so there's five millimeters here, I'm trying to make sure that there's five millimeters of consistent spacing around the curve as well. amount of curving and that's your small level of diffraction in fact that could have curved a little bit more that's why I say you could do it in a pencil and then go over it just gives you a bit more room to um, change it if it's not quite right now the last thing I'm going to do I'm just going to wait a moment to let the ink dry a little bit more so I'm just going to rub out the construction lines gently me my nice diagram showing diffraction through the wide aperture.